over in Louisiana, enough evidence of illegal voting was uncovered such that a state Supreme Court judge completely nullified the results of an election. His rationale was that enough ballots were cast illegally to actually change the outcome of the race, and therefore, the entire thing had to be scrapped and redone. And the details of this case are wild. Let me quickly give you a backstory here. To start with, in case you're not aware, over in Louisiana, instead of having counties, they have what are known as parishes. They're basically the exact same thing as counties, but because of the unique history of Louisiana, they're instead called parishes. And about three weeks ago, on November the 18th, there was an election for sheriff held over in Caddo Parish, located in the northwestern part of the state. And in this race, you had two prominent candidates. You had Henry Whitehorn, the Democrat, and John Nicholson, the Republican. And so, election day came, about 43,000 people voted, and after all the dust settled, the official results showed that the Democrat, Mr. Henry Whitehorn, had won the election by a margin of just a single vote. Now, by law, that slim of a margin requires an automatic recount. And Mr. John Nicholson, for his part, he was pushing for the recount to be done by hand. However, the local board of elections claimed that a hand recount would just take too long, and so instead they opted for a machine recount instead. This machine recount, it discovered three extra votes for both candidates, meaning in practical terms that the recount still showed the Democrat winning by one. However, perhaps smelling something was fishy, Mr. Nicholson, the Republican, he pursued the case further. And in so doing, he filed a lawsuit over in the district court seeking to challenge the results. Here's what he said in terms of his rationale during a press conference. The unofficial results of the sheriff race between me and my opponent indicated a one vote margin out of more than 43,000 votes. That's something that hasn't happened as far as we can tell in more than a century in this country. It's truly unprecedented. He then went on to say that among the absentee ballots that were counted, many of them, according to his investigation, had missing voter signatures. Quote, many, dozens at a minimum, in the small sample of ballots we were able to inspect in the short time we had of these certificates had no signatures at all. In other words, ballots had been submitted without a voter signing it. He then further laid out that both him and his team, they discovered many other discrepancies as well, such as voters being counted twice, as well as votes being counted from those who had actually died before election day. He concluded his press conference by saying this. We know from looking at the certificates that we inspected that many ballots that, again, weren't even signed. I mean, what would happen if you tried to go vote at the polling place and you said, I'm not signing? or I'm not given an ID so you can prove who I am. You wouldn't be allowed to vote. We can't count votes that are not verified in the way the law requires. If the, the zone of uncertainty, if you like, is greater than the difference between the two candidates and the unofficial results, there is no way to ascertain the winner of the election. And that being the case, uh, a new election is the only way to make sure that the will of the people is respected. And so Mr. Nicholson was suing to make sure that lawful votes were counted while unlawful votes were not. And he was well within his rights to do so because over in Louisiana, according to state law, candidates can ask for new elections and a judge can order a new election if he or she determines that, quote, it is impossible to determine the result of election or the number of unqualified voters who were allowed to vote by the election officials was sufficient to change the result of the election if they had not been allowed to vote. And so Mr. Nicholson was suing for exactly that. Now, after he filed his lawsuit, the four justices on the bench, they all decided to recuse themselves because they all had prior friendships with Mr. Nicholson, who just for reference, before the election, he was a former member of the city council. And so, because the judges all had to recuse themselves, the Louisiana State Supreme Court, they came in and they assigned a former state Supreme Court justice to take up the case, Mr. Joseph Blake. And after going through all the evidence, Justice Blake, he nullified the election because enough illegal votes were discovered to call into question the actual results. Here's part of what he wrote in his 12-page ruling. Quote, it was confirmed by witness testimony that two individuals voted twice, or double voted, and that at least four individuals who were then and currently fully ineligible to vote cast ballots in person the day of the election. It was further confirmed by testimony that several accepted absentee or mail-in ballots did not comply with Louisiana law and should have been rejected. This runoff election involved a one-vote margin. It was proven beyond any doubt that there were at least 11 illegal votes cast and counted meaning in practical terms that the judge found that at the very least, 11 votes were cast illegally enough to change the margin of victory.